ex-president? Yeah, that's a great question, isn't it? It is. Who's going to be I, next president? You and uh, well, I mean, the, the the smart money is on Kamala Harris, not what? being elected. But um, look, Biden dying. Joe Biden is the Biden is the oldest president we've ever had. He doesn't look so sharp anymore. So the smart stop. money would be on her. Stop. stop I don't stop, know stop. where the I don't know where the next smart money would go. Not not Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, yeah, no, I and, love and, her. More's the, and more's the pity. I thought she was interesting. Um, I thought it would have been great if a Republican would have grabbed her as the vice presidential candidate. Right. We're going to work with the other party. We're going to be honest with each other. That would have been a winning move. I thought Joe been. Biden should have gone after Condoleezza Rice. I remember you saying that. Which is, I think, a brilliant and I think it is a brilliant idea because I had it. Um, <laughs> But, but she's really great. Right. And if you're kind of a crackpot liberal and you bring Condoleezza Rice on, I'm probably thinking you're not a crackpot after all. Right. That there's a reasonable part of you that, that you needed to let out. So I would have liked those things. Now, where that leaves us for next time, I don't know. Trump is still making all kinds of bluster that he's going to run again. Um, I don't think he could hope to win again. But he could divide the Republican vote so badly that the Democrats would have a cakewalk right back into the office. Kind of like what they did last time. Well, you know, right. Donald, Donald Trump has a lot of negatives. Yeah. He's high negative. He's high positive too, but, you know, it's hard to imagine him getting over on everybody a second time after we've just seen what happened in the right. intermess. Right? Right. Um, it was pretty obvious that that crew that he put together that gave him what he needed to win just wasn't there anymore. Right. It was almost there, but it just wasn't there. Right. And it was a squeaker, right? It wasn't, I mean, in the end, it wasn't that close, but it was close enough. Right. It wasn't an embarrassing loss by any shot, but he's going to show up again if yeah. he's still alive. Um, and he's old too, right? Yeah. And he, he might not live to the next election. Right. So we'll have to say, I don't know who the rational Republican could possibly be at this point. Yeah, I don't. I'm guessing it's going to be maybe DeSantis. Yeah, that sounds about right. And he's certainly positioning himself for it. Yeah. Right. He he goes just far enough to satisfy the lunatics. Yes. And he doesn't go so far as to alienate the reasonable people. Right. These are political calculations that he's doing. This is not his natural answer. Right. He's yeah. asking people, all right, where, how far can I go here? Yeah. Yeah. And so far, it's been okay, right? Yeah, he's, he's really he's popular. Hitting, he's hitting the right notes. And if he's popular in Florida, a state that Republicans must win to get the presidency, well, Florida is a pretty pretty 50-50 kind of place. At this mm -hmm. point. Um, he would win it in a landslide. Right. So even if he doesn't run, he's the obvious vice presidential candidate. Right. He'll give you a Florida. You need Florida. Um, you're going to need Ohio, too. So look there. You're going to find candidates in Ohio. Right. Damn, man. Who knows who they are? That's great. I, I, I'm kind of disappointed that you said Kamala because she's just. Well, I don't, um, I don't know. I mean, Biden looks like he's not in the greatest health. Oh, man. He's like. It, it looks to me like he forgets a lot of things, you know, and he's got that look on his face that any of us who had a loved one that went, went the way of Alzheimer's knows that face. Oh, he's. We've, we've all seen it before. Yep. And. And I'm pretty sure I'm seeing it now. Yeah. Am I absolutely sure? No, I'm not. And they're never going to come out and be like, guess what? No, <laughs> no. Look, it was obvious by um, by Reagan's second term, especially those last two years, it was obvious what had happened to the right. people around him. And you just saw him in public less and less. Right. Because that was the only tenable answer. Right. So if you stop seeing Biden in public, if he sends out surrogates more and more, you'll have a pretty good indication that everybody knows. Right. Damn, man. That, so and, you'll and be so, able to you'll be able to scan the, the TV and watch. For and by law, like she would have to she's vice president. So if he passed away, because he's probably yeah. going to get a second term, I would assume. I there is no way he runs for a second term. It'd be well into his 80s. Wow. Well. So you're saying that it might happen before his second term. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't I don't I'm not convinced he's going to live through his first term. <laughs> That's like he's, he's very old and he's obviously ill. Wow. Well, I mean, what can you say about it? And then Kamala, Kamala Harris would just like finish the term and then run again. Yeah, and then she could run again. 
uh, on her own. She could have up to 10 years in the president. God, God forbid. Well, I, God help us. let's face it. The American people are not lockstep behind Kamala Harris, right? She is probably, after Trump, the most alienating person I've seen in, yep. on the American political stage for a while. Right. Um, she's just terrible. And I think almost everybody thinks. That. Yeah. So she'll have a know, hard it, time. Sure. I mean, everybody wants to call you a racist and a sexist when, when you say these things. But Condoleezza Rice wouldn't have me saying these things. Right. So it's probably something else. Right. Just saying. Yeah. No, um, she's, she's special. She is, um, she is a divisive character, which will come out more in, in the future than has. Especially if she runs, years. runs like, like more yeah. things will come out about her. Just like when Tulsi. Kind yeah, of of course, her. you know, when, when Biden picked her, his poll numbers went down. I know. I know. Right. Crazy. People looked at that and they said, you yeah, know, no, not that one. Right. So it, it caused him more trouble than it ever solved, but. You know, here we are in the aftermath. Now we have to live with the choices we have made. It's like we're all doing the walk of shame at this point. Right. I feel and like here, I feel like I'm. And just, here we are. Here we are. Ugh, walk of shame. I have to make peace with what we have done. Yeah. yeah. What did we do? 